Hello there Stevos and welcome back to my brand new YouTube video for you here on my YouTube channel Steve Official. Today I'm going to be playing this brand new game that I got recently on my Nintendo Switch console. It's CTR Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on Nintendo Switch. I got it as a Christmas present uh, last year for Christmas uh, by my brother, my nephew's mum and my nephew. So a massive, massive thank you to them uh, for, give, uh, for gifting me uh, with this for Christmas. Obviously I didn't get it till recently though. Uh, because they turned up and surprised us with a visit um, for Easter. So obviously that's why I didn't get this game until now. But anyway, without further ado though, let's uh, play some Crush Team Racing gameplay on my Nintendo Switch console. So here we go. This is the home screen of my Nintendo Switch console. I've just downloaded Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled onto my Nintendo Switch. And I've also updated my Nintendo Switch as well because an update was required. So here we go. Then this is me playing some Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on the Nintendo Switch console. Can I just say, I'm pretty certain... Correct me if I'm wrong, okay, I could be wrong here. Uh, we're going to select English as our language, of course. Uh, and then we're just going to wait for that to load. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, but I feel as though this is a remaster um, of a game uh, that used to be out on the PlayStation 2 years and years and years ago. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um... I could entirely be wrong. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so, we will wait and see. But, uh, by the way, I am playing this game in the handheld mode. Um, just to let everyone know. Um, okay. This is literally like the terms and conditions. Which, really, do we need to read? Not really. And again, more terms and conditions. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do adventure. Obviously, there we go. Um... Should we do Nitro Fueled? Uh, we'll do Medium. Start. Should we choose our character? We're gonna do, I'm going to do Crash. Actually, no, I'm alright with that. I'm okay with that. This is basically a Crash Bandicoot version of Mario Kart. Uh, basically. So, there we go. That's that's the way I'm thinking of it, anyway. I'm thinking of it like as if it is a Crash Bandicoot version of Mario Kart. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to do maybe one or two races in this game, just so you guys get a bit of an idea as to how it looks, etc, um, etc. Et and then, yeah, I will then give you my review uh, on this game and let you know... Uh, what my thoughts are and whether or not I do recommend this uh, to other people as well. So far, the gameplay looks pretty decent. I'm liking the design. I mean, just look how detailed those butterflies are right there. Um, they're very, very detailed. Um, the sound quality is pretty ace as well. Greetings, creatures of this planet. I come to compete. So, you pesky Yeah. <laughs> 
Of course, Crash Bandicoot would be falling asleep. Did he just eat that butterfly? Really? Okay. Welcome to the adventure area. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent war pads which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a race track, Drive into a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track's starting line. Finish the track in first place to win a trophy. If you collect more trophies, other tracks will unlock. Good luck, and drive fast. Okay. trying to get a hold so the B button is to kind of accelerate um, which is a bit odd to be honest given the fact that normally you know it would be like the A button or the back buttons or something like that but no uh, it is the B button that uh, we are going to be using to accelerate the, um, the, the, the cart that we are in so this is at the moment loading Um, but it says here, in Ring Rally, by following the rings, you might uncover new shortcuts. So that is the fastest route. So that's a good thing about this game as well, is it does also give you some tips as well. And here we go. We are off. Oh no, I wanted one. I didn't get one. Whoa! Okay, whoa! No! Oh no! I fell off. There we go. That wasn't meant to happen. Whoa! That wasn't meant to happen. Oh no. So, so far... I'm in 8th place, which is annoying, but there we go, this is my first race, not going to lie. And it's also the first time that I've also played this game. Oh no, 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 no. Chuck it. Oh no. How did that happen? Go. I'm making the wrong mistake here. Wrong way. Yeah, I know I'm going the wrong way, but I can't go that way. Oh, I can't go that way either. Oh, it's going to have to be one of those things, isn't it? There we are. So, when you press the A button on the Nintendo Switch, by the way, uh, you are then beeping the horn. Um, but it will also, when you do get these little prize things um, through the boxes, um, it does also allow you to get a, um, yeah, it, it does also allow you to get the bits. Okay, this is going to speed me up a little bit. Come on. Oh, I didn't win. Didn't win at all there. So, there we go. Anyway. Oh, I think I'm going to be retrying this again. Let me retry this again. Now that I've got a feel for the, um, for the track. Yeah. 
Here we go, this is a little bit better. Oh, okay, I didn't want that. There we are. Now I'm in second place. Let's hope we can remain in second place. Oh, back in third. Oh, we're still in third. Oh, oh, there we are. Look, now we're in first. That's even better. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Whoa, okay, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, by the way, can I just say, while I am uh, filming this video as well, I just want to add here that uh, there is also a brand new game available uh, for iOS and Android devices, and it is Crash Bandicoot related. Oh, no, 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 that wasn't meant to happen. Um... Yeah, it is Crash Bandicoot related, uh, just thought I'd let you know. Um, it's called Crash on the Run, um, So, and I am going to be playing that on my, Nintendo, uh, on my iPhone, uh, well, iPad, no, 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 oh god, I've done it again. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing that uh, at some point soon on my iPad, as well as... Um, oh, there we go. Oh, sneaky. There we go. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to quit there because I've just tried doing it twice. And there we are. Uh, I came in eighth on the first race. And obviously, I came in fifth on the second race. Obviously, it was the same race, I know. But there we go. I, I think what you have to do with that one is you do have to... Um, kind of get in first second or third place in order to move on so that's the idea of the game obviously i'm going to continue playing this game um by the way um oh no there's more there is more um i mean literally it's like kind of a open world type thing here i mean that one's locked you must have a boss key to open this door Race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat the boss in the boss race, and the key is your prize. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so that's the idea of the game anyway, uh, for those wondering. Um, so, what is my thoughts on this game? To access this track, you must first collect the number of trophies required to turn on the warp pad. To get trophies, you must race other open tracks and come in first place. There we go. So what is my thoughts on this game? Well, stay tuned because I will tell you that in the next scene. So just what are my thoughts on Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on Nintendo Switch? Well, I think the game is excellent. Uh, I do love the graphics on it. I do think it runs smoothly on the Nintendo Switch. I haven't obviously tested it out through the TV dock yet, so that will be something interesting for me uh, to find out. But I do think, though, that this is an awesome game. Um, if it has been um, out before, which I do kind of believe it has been out on a previous um, generation console. I believe it might have been the PS2. This game was first released. Um, but if the game, if this game was first released on PS2, then this is a very, very nice remaster. It's good to see that Crash Bandicoot is coming back uh, onto various different um, co gaming consoles, whether it's the Xbox, the PlayStation, or the Nintendo Switch, um, and even for that matter, mobile as well. Crash Bandicoot Bandicoot is now uh, reaching mobile, which is, again, really, really good. Um, and what I also love is the fact it is a little bit like, and I did say this earlier in the video, it is a little bit like Mario Kart, but with Crash Bandicoot. I like the fact that you can also kind of customise your kart that you're racing in as well, so you can change the wheels, the body of your kart, and stuff like that. Um, and also, as well, what I do like is... 
it's kind of an open world type thing as well so you're not just doing like certain races you, you you get the choice of doing different races obviously over time the more races you do the better because then that means that obviously you will be able to uh, unlock more races and uh, you'll be able to race um, and maybe even unlock more characters to race with as well throughout the game uh, which again is absolutely excellent um, and also as well uh, what I do like is I like that you get these various different items again It's like Mario Kart where you get the different items, you know, you get the TNT box you get some rockets Etc. Um, Etc. Et so I do like it. it's got those Mario Kart vibes to the game as well uh, But anyway, that's my thoughts would I recommend this game to a Nintendo switch owner myself Definitely, um, you know, if you are, like I say, if you are into Mario Kart, then this game is definitely for you. If you are into the old school Crash Bandicoot games, again, this game is definitely for you as well. Um, and, yeah, I definitely would recommend it. I mean, I'm going to give it, I'm probably going to say a 9 out of uh, nine out of 10, because it is a very good game. If this is a remaster, then the remaster is absolutely a genius, and it is excellent, and I really can't wait to get my teeth stuck in more uh, with this game on Nintendo Switch, uh, away from the camera and away from this video and stuff. So really, really look forward to playing more uh, of Crash Bandicoot, uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on Nintendo Switch. Uh, so there we go. That is my review and some gameplay of Crash Team Racing in Nitro Fueled on Nintendo Switch. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Feel free to do that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a Stevo. That is all from me. I'll be back tomorrow with another YouTube video. In the next video, I'm going to be doing a cooking video. Um, and this week, I have been cooking uh, some chicken pie with root veg and some peas as well. So stay tuned for that. But from me though, it's goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next YouTube video.